You're probably going to use it. I just didn't have your number. I was going to take two, but So today we will continue with computer networks because of course that's two parts of writing this So we will we will talk about computer networks today. We'll have an overview of computer networks. Um, so if we think about a network and what are its applications, like who needs the network and what do we need the network for? So let's think about that. Why, why are we spending our time talking about networks? Who needs them and what do we need them for? So can you give any examples? Schools, universities, that kind of stuff. Banks. Universities? Banks. Banks, okay. So banks, okay. universities. <laughs> Governments. Okay, so government needs them. Companies. Okay, so banks and companies no. would fall into a category called business. business. So these are business uses of computer networks. So business applications would be banks. How long can the bank survive if the network shut down or if all the computers shut down? How long will the bank business survive? I mean, they have multiple branches, so a couple of branches are definitely going to fall off. But it would discredit the bank a lot. No network, and all the computers are shut down. Yeah, it'd probably be pretty instantaneous. Yeah. Okay, so the bank will not survive more than five minutes, probably. So basically, these businesses are basing their business on networks and computers, which they did not used to do that before. So if we look like a hundred years ago, the bank would survive without a network, its daily operations. But right now, a lot of businesses are making themselves dependent on, net on computers and on computer networks to such an extent that they could not survive their business without them. So pretty much it's an important subject and for us thinking about designing and, and maintaining these networks and making sure they're working properly is an important subject for us. So the banks use them, businesses use them for conducting business such as what? Banks use it for connecting what connecting customers to the bank or connecting employees with each other so for example email is is used through the networks uh, for employees to talk to each other the network is used for communication right between the customers of the bank and the bank itself. What else is it used for? Um, databases, does that count? Okay, so databases, so it's used for 
sharing resources. Sharing resources for so first for communication and second for sharing resources. Such as a database or so customer records, information about what the business is producing or what is it selling, inventory, uh, customer personal information. Uh, if it is a bank, then it maintains financial information. These are resources that it shares, but also for sharing things like printers, servers, uh, storage devices, and, and so on. So devices, servers, printers, anything that can be shared through the network. Uh, storage space. So that's what businesses would use it. Also, for conducting business online, do we have businesses that sell things online? So that's a pretty legitimate use of network for conducting business. So e-commerce applications, any businesses that are trying to buy or sell products or services through the internet or through the network is an e-commerce. So So these are some business applications. How about home applications? So if there is no network at home, so if we're at home and there's no network, there is no internet, there's no connection to other computers, what would you use the computer for? LAN? Is that what you're asking? LAN is a network, right? Local area network. So there's no network. What would you use the computer for? Word uh, processing. Uh, standard. Basic calculations, uh, graphics editing, movie editing, word processing, uh, and basic calculations. Playing local games. And games. So this is really what computers were used for before we invented the networks. And um, pretty much, people use them for text processing and for scientific calculations, for printing things like batch jobs, um, and for home uses for games. But today, pretty much the main reason we want to have a computer at home is because of the network, right? The network provides us probably 90% of the things that we would use this computer for at home. So what would that be? What do you normally use it for? Communication, right? Talking to friends, maybe, and family. Facebook. Social networking. Is there a type of, probably for games, right? 
Is there a type of home network that exists? So if we think about business applications, the most popular model that we use is a client-server model for networks. So with businesses, we have a machine, dedicated server that always sitting there waiting for client requests. And when it gets the client request, it serves them. Whether that is responding to queries sent to a database, for an inventory requests, whether that is to print something or to return a web page, whatever that server is, it's a database server, email server, um, or if it's just sharing some devices or storage or it's a web server, then for a file sharing server, it's something that is always sitting there and listening for client requests and the client connects to them and gets the request served and gets responses. But So that's a one network model that we have with business applications. But with home applications, is there a different type of network model that you can think of? Have you maybe tried to connect to other people's home computers to share things with them, like files, music? Videos? Has anybody tried that before? So you have this network where we connect to other people's home machines and it says, okay, if you want to connect and see what music files other people have on their hard drives, then it's fine, but you're gonna have to share your own music. Has any of you tried that before? And then you end up connecting to a bunch of other people's home computers and look up their files on their hard drives that they decided to share. So that's a type of a, a home network called peer-to-peer -peer. that is not a client-server model because each machine acts as both a client and a server because it both serves requests for other people and it also sends requests to other people's machines. So it both is storing and sharing files and requesting files from others. So it's uh, called peer-to-peer -peer networks and there's some companies got sued for that a couple of years ago because it was basically illegal to share mu copyrighted music and videos in this way. Because you are not paying royalties to the artists that produce this. And then the next uh, application for networks is 